I'm bearded and bored, and this is how I make ribs. I just said, yes, man, ribs, take one. All right, so we're gonna get started with some baby back ribs and a whole bunch of seasonings. And we're gonna use some smoked salt or you can use kosher salt. It's completely up to you. Sprinkle the salt, a little black pepper. Okay, a lot of black pepper. Garlic powder, chili powder, a whole lot. Some paprika, a whole lot. You're gonna put, put more seasoning on than you think you actually need. Basically, just pretend you're a two-year-old that got into the spice cabinet and go crazy. The objective when I'm putting barbecue seasoning on is to make it not look like meat anymore. Make sure you use a foil line pan, otherwise you're really gonna regret it. And we're pouring in some of the Kentucky Common that we made to uh, fill that pan up about a third of the way up the meat so that you have a nice braising liquid for those ribs. Cover it with foil. And we're gonna drop it into a 425 oven. Throw it in for about two to three hours. All right, so while that's in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get our potato salad started. So we're just slicing up some fingerling potatoes. You don't have to do anything fancy here. Just chop them up so that they, uh, they're they relatively even in size. So you're gonna boil your potatoes for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're nice and tender. Make sure you cover it with at least an inch of water. Throw in some salt. Always season your boiling water if you're doing potatoes or pasta. We've got some green onions, some red and orange bell pepper, a little garlic. And we're just gonna chop all that up. Take the tops off your bell peppers. Then we're gonna split them lengthwise, flatten them out, slice them into strips, Turn that 90 degrees and then dice it up. Then drain them out and make sure you drain off as much water as possible. Mash that garlic, makes it easier to peel the skin off. Then we're just gonna slice it up and do a little mincing action. No, this is not fast forwarded. I'm just that good. All right, so now that the potatoes are boiled, you're gonna wanna cook them in a saute pan so you can get them nice and crispy on the outside. So you have a nice hot saute pan, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and when you toss your potatoes in, make sure you've got as much water off of them as possible. A little salt and pepper here. And we're just gonna give them a toss to coat them in the oil. Let them cook for about 10 minutes or so on medium to medium high heat until they get nice and brown and crispy. We're gonna throw the garlic in at the very end and only give it about 10 to 30 seconds to cook. Any longer than that and it'll burn and get nasty. So I just toss it all in a bowl and chuck it in the freezer so it'll cool those potatoes off. Now you know your ribs are done when they fall apart like that. So then we just take your favorite barbecue sauce, throw the ribs on a nice hot grill, little sauce, five or 10 minutes, just enough to glaze those ribs. You're not trying to cook them. And while those are glazing, go ahead and get your potatoes out of the fridge. They should be nice and cool now. Toss on your veggies, a little apple cider vinegar, a little extra virgin olive oil. A little salt and pepper. Give it a quick stir and you're done. Just throw a heap of that on the plate. And a big fat chunk of ribs. 
Oh, well, don't forget the beer. That's it. All right, so thanks for watching. If you like the recipe and you want to give it a try, check down in the description down below. I've got it all listed out for you. And if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy what I do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the little bell icon right next to it. Click the little box and click save and you're good to go. That way you'll get notifications anytime I post new content. If you want to learn to cook like a pro to impress your Tinder matches or grinder or whatever you young whippersnappers are doing these days, or you just want some new recipes for your arsenal, check out my cookbook on Amazon. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll talk at you later.